Um, we are missing a Moon Medal here. We might have to just get it with the Werehog. Okay, that, that's the regular stage. I don't think there's um, an Act 3 anywhere. I think that's just the Act 2. Oh, okay. It's, I guess it's just there. Okay. Well, I guess that'll be it then. So, I, okay, so I'm going to go to the professor and see if, is he, is he going to be like, oh, you can do a night stage here if you want, because I may as well, yeah, I may, I may as well just um, do Shaman Knight next, and then next time is just going to be a HD exclusive with Empire City. Oh, yeah, you don't have anything else to say. That doesn't really tell me much. Oh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I need to see the extra cutscene. Yeah. Huh? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I love these. I love these random extra CG cutscenes. Like they they didn't have to do this, but it's like these three um, extra scenes with Sonic and Chip just doing their thing. Like it's no. I, I like it. Like it's just some extra nice um, uh, material. Like sometimes the little things can go a long way to make a game like even better. Like. Man, I just love little stuff like little stuff like that. It's just, it's very cool. Very cool. Uh, I guess we'll just change it tonight. I guess now we need to go around the hub again for these uh, medals. I almost forgot to do this. Yeah, now we have uh, four. Uh, yeah, four summoners to get. I, I need to remember again that um, when it's day, m moon medals are more prevalent, and in the and in at night, uh, the um, sun medals are more prevalent. <laughs> oh good. Oh camera, please <laughs> don't run away with me, run away from me. All right, so that yeah, I, I knew there was one here at at some point. And now we need to find three more, which could be anywhere. So, uh, yeah, just kind of go around and hope for the best. I think one is in a pot. Like this one, maybe? No. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, God. Wait, is there one over here? This is some really good music, by the way. Like this again. This is my favorite sound, um, OST in the uh, series. It's very good stuff. Is there anything? I mean, there has to be. We're still missing three medals. Because that's two. Again, like I, said, like I was saying earlier, that it, um, they encourage you to explore and find things. Like, bare minimum, you're gonna um, have these medals to collect, and uh, beyond that, you have all the uh, people to talk to and uh, 
you get a bunch of like town missions and other various goodies from that, so. Okay. They wouldn't put another one here, right? I'm I'm assuming not. Nah. Okay. There might be one up here. No, I think that's where a moon went medal was. Um Nope. What the hell? I like how that that's the like the gravel gravel ball ledges. I think this is the only like town well actually no no, no I tell a lie, there was there was one in uh, Spagonia. What the hell? Here we go again. I do, yeah. I do. I do not remember the items in in this hub. I like the, you know what I mean. Uh, I guess we'll cut. Okay, there's one. We found, we found a three out of four. I need to find a fourth one. Uh, you don't have it, do you? I know you don't, but... Got a record. Yay. No, no, don't buy more. It's fine. Okay. I'm I'm convinced it's hidden in a pot somewhere. Like, don't know where else it would be. Where the hell? This. Oh my god. Nope. I don't know where it is. Oh my god. Oh, good. Okay, sure. <laughs> we well, we found them all now. All right. Okay. So now we get to see if the uh, night stage is active, and if that's the case, then cut to the Wii. No. Huh. Okay. Huh. I suppose, um, we have to go somewhere else. Yeah, you guys can have your fun. Um, yeah, cool. So we can't do this yet. <laughs> Um, so I'm assuming, is the game just going to be like, go to Empire City then? So I think, yeah, I think the night stage is first. Oh, right. Yeah, return to world map. 
it is interesting how the different uh, the different versions um like are like going about this in different ways yeah we had to do uh, empire city um interesting so in the wii version we get to choose between um shaman knight and a uh, and about night, I believe. And then in this version, we have to do Empire, Empire City, and then I assume we can choose between Chimar and Adabat. Maybe. I don't know. There's also the day stage here, so... Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Alright, so, um... I guess we'll just uh, do Empire City Night, because um, the Wii version um, has us doing Chimar. So, Chimar, so I suppose we might as well just do this now. And then, when, um, what is it, when we can go back to do Shaman Knight on HD, then, then we'll switch back to the, uh, Wii. The... Yeah, this is, this is, um, like, a really small hub, but there's, like, uh, terrible lag here. Um, like, if we just buy this stuff. Right, chicken. Okay. So uh, yeah, this is a really small hub. Uh, there's really not much here. Um, it's just a giant circle, pretty much. Um, there's only two medals here, um, but. Yeah, this, this place just doesn't run very well. No, the last few last few hubs in the game really don't um, have the best frame rate, unfortunately. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. Oh, God. But yeah, this is, um, like I was saying earlier, like, this is, um, this area is completely unique to this version. You don't ever go to Empire City on the, on the Wii version. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of weird about, like, that. Like, the Wii version only has the Missouri boss, but it also doesn't have this area, period. Um, and... I find that really bizarre, like, the fact that this stage is just not in the other version, um, like, I, I find that kind of fascinating in a way, um, I do, I do kind of, I, I, I would have liked to have seen what the other version, what the Wii version would have had, like, what the stages would have looked like, uh, but I, I assume it was, it was probably a lack of time, um, or something to that effect, or like they couldn't fit um, as many. They couldn't fit um, the uh, Empire City stage uh, um, on the on the uh, disc, or something. I, I I highly doubt that's the that was it. Um, but yeah, I. Yeah, I have no idea. Um, like, it definitely would have been nice to see this, to see this stage and uh, Missouri on the Wii, but yeah, it is what it is. Though that being said, uh, this stage probably would have had four night stages uh, because when you get to the second half of the game on the Wii, uh, Shamar and Adabat both have four night stages. Um, and I assume that that would have been the case for Empire City as well. And, um, yeah, <laughs> I don't think we needed a, a, a third area to have that many night stages. Um, but, you know, maybe, maybe the reason why there's four night stages for those two areas on Wii is because there, um, there is no Empire City. So that they were just like, they're just like, oh, that's, that's, um, Let's just make the, these areas have four stages instead because we're we're missing a we're missing a a a, a, a area. Because it's it's funny because 
the in terms of story, there's like no relevance to Empire City like whatsoever. Like there's no temples here. There's no like like boss. Um, there's no cutscenes here. There's there's nothing really. It, this is pretty much like an excuse to just play more levels, which is fine. Like as I'm gonna talk about later, this right here is one of the best night stages in the game. I think um, up there with uh, Call Edge Night. Um, but yeah, in terms of like plot plot relevance, there's not really anything here. <laughs> um, and um, I'm honestly I'm not too fussed about that. Um, like the level itself, like the the stages themselves here are great, and that's what I mainly care about. Um, so I'm I'm glad about that. Like, uh, like these are very good stages. Um, so I'm I'm not like upset that there's no plot relevance here, but I, it does make me wonder if there was supposed to be like a cutscene here um, or something like something that was that's just more than what we got. Uh, because, like, in really old uh, interviews, it was said that, like, Shadow Knuckles would be in the game. Um, and, that, like, we don't know if, like, that was, like, um, a mistake. Like, they were never actually meant to be in the game. And, like, that was, that was just something that they just said on the spot. Um, and didn't bother correcting themselves. Um, or they did plan to have, uh, act, like, act extra cutscenes in this stage with, like, Shadow and Knuckles, and they were gonna do, like, something in the story, but they just cut it because, I don't know, time restraints, or they didn't think it was nece necessary, or other such cut content happened. It, it's hard to say, really, uh, because, yeah, like, those characters... Like, the only characters in this game are, like, Sonic, Tails, Chip, uh, Amy, and, uh, I guess Professor Pickle, if you want to count him. Like, and, and uh, Eggman, obviously. Like, the, the main cast of this game is fairly small, uh, especially when you compare it to, like, 06. Um, so, maybe they did plan to have, like, other characters at some point, but they just, uh, got caught early on, or maybe, I, I don't know, it's hard to say, uh, but it is an interesting food for thought. Um, I do wonder if there were, like, many big, like, things on the cutting room floor. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, just talking about this stage, though, this is a really good, this, this is a really good, uh, night nice stage. Um, there's a a really good um, amount of platforming, uh, just like Holoska. Okay, just like Holoska, there's um, a good um, balance of uh, combat. It's pretty much um, this is pretty much a um, a harder version of what what I uh, um, praised Holoska with. Uh, like it's it's um, it's a good pacing between fighting and platforming. Uh, it introduces, like, new mechanics at a good rate. Um, the, like, stuff of the tightrope thing that we've been doing throughout this game. Like, here we're gonna see that, um, like, this, these tightropes have, um, uh, have, uh, spikes on the side of it, so you can't actually fall off. Like, you, you have to be good with your balancing. Um, so, it's like, one of those things that you see... A mechanic that's been being that's being used f like throughout the game, and um, yeah, they put a spin on it, spin on it to make it um, quite a bit more challenging. You have to be a lot more careful than you have been so far. Like, thankfully here we have uh, some platforms that we can land on if we do fall off, um, but if we uh, just play play our cards right. We shouldn't have to do that. Yeah, and then they introduce, like, the parts will start falling, so you can't just wait around. You need to, you need to keep moving, otherwise you will just fall, obviously. So, as a, bu as a bunch of tension, 
uh, makes you focus more. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I think it. I think this is uh, warranted to like spice this up at this point in the game. Like I do, I do know that some people find this kind of kind of stuff a bit cheap, and I can, I can understand that. This is definitely one of the harder levels in the game, uh, but I think that's kind of the point. Like, this is the second half of the game, so I expect stuff to be ramped up. Um, so, I, I'm i fine with it personally, but I can understand if it's, like, a bit much for some people. I want to do, like, a dash jump for that. Yeah, the platforming is being a, quite a bit more precarious than it has been. So you want to just take it easy. You can like do like jump, like double jumps to try and make this faster, but if you want to just be safe, it's best to just take it slow. And yeah. Yeah, the frame rate, as usual, isn't exactly the best in this stage, but that is the, that's pretty much the norm for this, for the Werehog, so. It's nothing new, really. Okay. Alright, cool. Do 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 do. It also, uh, since we're in like a New York inspired environment, like especially with that, that green fog down there, um, that this does give me major Spider-Man PS1 vibes. Um, and uh, that's a really fun game, so I'm definitely, definitely okay with that. Nice, let's go. <laughs> that was cool. I almost tried locking on like it was a Kingdom Hearts or something. God. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Alright, you guys can not get dragged up, but... Oh, good. Alright, cool. And now we just activate this. I do enjoy the, uh, um, the fact that this stage is a lot of, go like, hopping around buildings and stuff. Um, I do feel like... Hmm, how do I say this? I, I feel like if the, like, the Werehog, if the Werehog was more had more design like this overall i think he would have been much better received like i feel like if uh the if the, if the platforming was more pronounced and there wasn't as much fighting um i feel like people would probably like him a lot more than they do um I think the main sticking point for a lot of people is the fact that there's so much like brawling, um, and they find the com. A lot of people find the combat monotonous and repetitive, and uh, if you don't take the time to like learn combos and whatnot, that is true. Like, uh, like if you the um, there isn't really much stopping you from really spamming the same combos over and over again. Um, like it can get that there are like random. Difficulty spikes, though, if you do do that. Um, but I do think the game could benefit from uh, explaining uh, the. Not explaining, but I feel like the game could. That this combat style. Oh, not combat. Well, wait, I can't. I can't speak. Um, I feel like this um, gameplay style would benefit a lot from. Uh, uh, what is it? Giving you more of an encouragement to experiment with uh, combos and whatnot. Uh, like, issue. Like, some games already do this, where, like, the more 
different, like the more stylish you are with your combos, the more points you get. And I feel like they should do, that should be the case of the Werehog. Like if you just play, if you just spam the same combos, you'll get a good enough rank, but you won't get like an S rank. But if you want to get an S rank, you need to be doing like aerial combos. You need to make, like do different moves. Like you need to do, um, you need to get like a good, uh, general like hit to like total hit combo um all this other stuff that is already the norm in uh, like character action games um and whatnot like even something like say like uh, styles the force unleashed um a um there's a uh, system in that game where if you're creative enough with your combos you get more uh force energy or whatever and that, like, in turn encourages the player to, like, experiment more, like, do crazy stuff with the Force, and all this other stuff. Um, and you get rewarded for that. And, um... Unfortunately, besides, like, having more fun, uh, you don't really get much of a reward for doing that in this game, which I think is really the main problem with the Werehog. Like, there should be... There should be a system that encourages you to experiment more um like there's reasons to, to do other moves like the like this move for example is good to get a bunch of enemies off you um this move is uh, good for like breaking down barriers like enemy defenses and whatnot and it's just a generally good strong move um the uh, cartwheel i keep doing is is good for like general like crowd control kind of thing and like dealing with a bunch of enemies at once um like there's reason to do other moves but uh a lot of the time you can just get away with doing the same combos and if you do that your enjoyment of the werehog is probably not going to be that great um so i i do encourage like the people who are watching this if you did just spam like a couple combos i do recommend giving uh, like a, w a night stage uh, or a couple like another shot try playing around with some of the combos see what you can learn and see if that like enhances your enjoyment at all and again I will say the fact that you do have to do that I will admit is a bit of a problem uh, like the fact that it doesn't really encourage that um, but you know I I, I enjoy this playstyle I, I enjoy the uh, combat system um, I do think that there's a decent amount of depth here. Um, it is basically, like, baby's first hack and slash. Uh, but I think it's... I think it has, um, just enough depth for what a Sonic game should have. Um, in terms of, like, just general mechanics and whatnot. Um, and I do think, uh, there's a lot that you can learn from it. Uh, but, you know... It, there's definitely some random kinks here and there that could be ironed out and like make the make it a lot better. Oh crap. Okay. I don't know what that sound is, but okay. Gonna just go back. This is also one of the longer night stages, so. You want to, like, get out of the way, chair? Alright. Oh, god. Okay, that should be far enough. Yeah, oh, come on. And just metal her. Is that, is that it? Oh, hey. Are you really gonna make me drop for this? <laughs> I see how it is. Okay. Yeah, I have to go the way back. I think I could have used, like, a random, uh, inanimate object to jump up there instead, but... 
already broke at, at some point, so I have to do this the long way. That's, that's fine. Just stare at this block for a little bit. And it'll be good. Alright, we should be coming up to the end soon. Um, oh god, we still have so many medals we don't have. I know there's one at the end. So that's um, one out of the, uh, like, four? Yeah. That's one of the four we the unaccounted for. Okay. Yeah, so this is the end. So we we definitely missed something. I guess another thing about the Werehog that not a lot of people know is that shielding is actually very useful. Um, like, if you don't use your shield, you can get punked by a lot of random attacks. And I do see a lot of... I do see that happening a lot with the... Uh, like, people just trying to mash through, uh, and, like, they just get punked by a lot of random attacks. And, uh, knowing when to use shield is really important for that, especially in, when, when you get into, like, later stages in, like, DLC and whatnot, where, like, it's almost required to, like, know how to use that stuff. Especially when you can actually, what, well, well, you can also, like, do stuff like that, I guess. Uh, how do I... Yeah, you, you can like roll and all this other stuff, which I, I don't really use the roll, I probably should use that more often. But the main thing that makes the shielding great is that you can cancel attack animations to make it, uh, make your combat flow better. And you can also use it to just get into your next uh, attack quicker, or you want to end a really long animation like the cartwheel or the, uh, like, what is it? this move like th that goes on for a while but you can just shield and it cancels the whole thing and that makes the combat flow so much better um like if you don't do that it's a lot more slow and uh weird like weird to weirdly paced so yeah that's a that's a huge tip that makes makes combat flow way better it's a lot more fun once you learn that like that's a thing <laughs> yeah we're going us we got us. We we missed uh, three medals, but it's totally fine. I'll just yeah, you know, I'll go strength still. I was upgrading it earlier, so I may as well just go all the way. Yep. Yeah, I don't know everything about the Werehog. Like the, there's like videos on about like. The, uh, the like the different combos you can do and all this other stuff um so yeah there's a lot to learn like i'm kind of just scratching the surface but like, there's a lot that i don't know so yeah yeah that's pretty much all she wrote here so i guess we'll just leave for now i'll worry about like town like town mission stuff at, at a, another point Right. Uh, let me just check this. Okay, DLC is the uh, Act 2 and 3, okay. Um, I want to check the day stage here. Uh, I... Okay, Act 3 is the uh, DLC, okay. Cool. And, uh... If I'm not mistaken now, uh, this is gonna be... This is gonna be the night stage. So I assume after, okay. So I assume after this, um, it's gonna give us the option to to do Empire City Day or Adabat Night because I'm a, I, I'm pretty sure Adabat Day is a, uh, like that has to be the last stage you do, I think. I could be wrong. I don't remember exactly how this game works.
Just go to the professor. <laughs> oh god. Okay. So, add about area. Line up a city. Oh, so I get. I guess you just have a bunch of areas you can go to now. Yeah, I. Yeah, again, I. I don't remember everything uh, about this game. Like, I don't remember what when every section of the game opens up. So, yeah, I might be wrong every now and then. Like, I don't memorize every little detail about the game, I'm sorry. Uh... I see. Oh, nice! Well, now we have three flashes instead of two. That's convenient. F 55 types of enemies exist in all. That's not bad. That's a decent amount of uh, enemies, I guess. Cool. No, I'm good. Yay! I do know you can get up to four. So hopefully we get that soon. I mean, we just got the free upgrade, so... Uh, I, guess, I guess not, like, soon, but hopefully, like, not too long. Because, uh... I I, I kind of just wish there was an unlimited uh, flash in general. Like the fact that there's a limit at all is kind of crap, to be honest. Like the fact that you do have to go back to the professor or like the the assistant to get like your your flashback. Like I I I feel like that's just kind of pointless. It's just padding. But yeah, there's uh, yeah, there's a night stage there. So, uh, yeah, okay. So, um, yeah, next time we we will be going through Shaman Night, um, uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys on the Wii. Um, so yeah, fun times the Werehog are just beginning. Like we got, <laughs> if you thought having three night stages on the Wii was a lot, well now we're gonna get four. So, yeah, that's gonna be a fun time. So I'll see you guys then.